Shukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya siku hii na ibada hii na wakabisha nyote katika uwepo wa Bwana. Tuko hapa katika makusudi na mapenzi yake Mungu ambaye anapenda watu wote waungane, watu wote waje wamwabudu, watu wote waje wamletee utukufu na heshima. Na ingawa wewe ni mgeni umetembea na haujui uko wapi, ama labda unatazama na kufuata kwa mitandao hapa ni kanisa la Kenya Assemblies of God ama KG Manuel Church na tunamshukuru Mungu kwa fadhili zake. Nimeokoka, Kristo ameniweka wiki mzima. Amen. Nashukuru tulikuwa na wakati mzuri hapa wa uombezi uh, over the week uh, ama katikati ya wiki tukamalizia Friday na kuna mambo Mungu ameendelea kutuzungumzia especially along the line of restoration. Kwa sababu Mungu ako na haja na maisha yetu vile tukaweza kurejeshwa katika the original plan sometimes tunapelekwa na mambo na kusongwa na mambo tunakuwa busy paka tuna lose focus ya kile ambacho tumeitiwa sometimes people may not even have an idea of what they were created to be lakini Mungu katika mapenzi yake ndiye anatamani sana kuleta urejesho katika maisha ya watu na ndio maana akila wakati anatuita tumkaribie and eh, wakati ambapo tumekuwa katika ule uombezi there is a scripture that kept on speaking unto my life the book of Ephesians chapter number 1 from verse number 3 4 and 5 inasema ya kwamba now praise be to our god even the father of our lord jesus christ who has blessed us with all the spiritual blessings in the heavenly places that we uh, uh, and he predestined you can go to the next verse verse 4 uh, just as he chose us in him before the foundations of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love and verse 5 that having predestined us to adoption as sons by Jesus Christ to himself according to the good pressure of his will na nilikuwa ninaguzwa na mambo kadhaa ya kwamba yeye ametubarikia na baraka zote za kiroho lakini mustari wa ine alituchagua hata kabra dunia haijaubwa akachagua ya kwamba igawa mimi na wewe tutamkubali kama bwana na mokozi tutapata kufanywa watakatifu watu wasio na mawa watu ambao wamefunikwa na upendo wake na zaidi alipanga tuwe wanaye haleluya na kwa hivyo hata wakati ninaomba restoration namwambia Mungu hii ndiyo maombi yangu ninajua umenibarikia na baraka zote za kiroho naomba kurejeshwa mahali pa baraka ninajua umenichagua niwe mtakatifu nataka nirejeshwe mahali pa utakatifu ninajua umeniita niwe you are one son ama you are son ambaye yako mbele zako na amejawa na upendo i want to be a son i do not want to just be a person of god i want to belong to God as a son and as we continue praying i know kuna mambo ambayo bwana anaenda akitia kwa moyo wako kama vile ametia ndani yangu kwa jia tofauti haleluya nataka tuendelee mahali tuliachia jumapili tulianza a uh, series on the model church kanisa ama ama mfano wa kanisa ambao kristo ametuwekea jesus did not just teach He did not just say I am building my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. No, he did that but he also gave us a model. He appointed the 12 and he left behind a church with 120 believers. And those 120 they grew in numbers. At one point the Bible tells us they increased with about 3000. At another point they increased up to 5000 and and they continue to increase and to spread to every corner of the world and we see them ministering to people of all kind to people like Cornelius they, they are ministering even to the Romans they are ministering to the people in different cities they they even minister to an Ethiopian the church continued to grow the church continued in power the church continued to extend its influence and its grace all over and every place they went to bwana sana 
na hiyo ikawa ndio mfano wetu lakini tunajua ya kwamba hawakufanya hiyo kwa uweza wao hata kama wengine kama akina Paul walikuwa ni wasomi hata kama wengine kama akina Luka walikuwa ni watu wasomi watu nako na kazi zao watu maybe hata walikuwa matajiri hawakuweka yale yakiwa mbele lakini walitembea chini ya uweza wa Roho Mtakatifu walitembea katika nguvu na uwepo wa Roho wa Mungu na kwa sababu hiyo they were able to do a lot of things for the kingdom praise the name of jesus na sisi kanisa la wakati huu we the church of this day hatisi ha, hatuko nyuma sababu actually na siku imeandikwa the latter church utukufu wa kanisa la baadaye litakuwa mkubwa kuliko utukufu wa kanisa lile la mwanzo yani kama kulikuwa na watu kama petru ambao waliwaponya watu kwa kivuli chao basi kunafaa kuwe na watu kama wewe na mimi ambao watawaponya watu kwa kupita tu hata kama hakuna kivuri katika jina la Yesu Kristo kama kuna watu kama akina Philip ambao waliombea waganga wakaokoka kunafaa kuwe na watu katika siku zetu hata kabla hawajafika mahali waganga wako waganga wanasema wanataka wokovu i mean the glory of the latter church shall be greater than the glory of the former praise the name of Jesus and we looked at a number of things na kitu moja ambayo tulianza Jumapili na ndio nataka kumalizia we looked at the empowerment of the church ya kwamba kanisa lilitiwa nguvu tukaangalia ahadi ya nguvu zile ya kwamba Kristo aliahidi kwa, ya kwamba watatiwa nguvu wakati roho mtakatifu atakuja juu yao sawa sawa na acts chapter 1 verse 8 Astai kurudia hayo mambo lakini sio tu ya kwamba waliahidiwa but they also prepared and i said and i want to repeat again that when god gives you a promise it is not enough for you to say i have a promise what you need to do is prepare for that promise just like if 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 someone calls you your sister or even your uncle and they tell you they will be visiting you maybe next week on wednesday you will start preparing bwana asifiwe sana Hakuna kitu ngumu kama kuambia mtu unaenda kwake alafu upate hajajiandaa. Siku moja tulia, tuliambiana na mke wangu tutembelee mtu fulani. Asitawaambia tunahusiana aje. Na ni mahali mbali kutoka hapa mpaka Meru. Tunamwambia tunakuja lakini hajiadai hata anakaa ni kama ni kama hatukuji bwana asifiwe sana. Na ni kweli kwa hakika umelipa hiyo gharama yote ambayo tukasikia na tulihitaji kweli kushinda tukikuja. And sometimes that is how God feels wakati ambapo una Mungu Mungu anakuambia andaa moyo wako this is the promise they were just given the pro- in fact Jesus did not even tell them how to prepare but the bible says when Jesus was lifted they went back to Jerusalem gathered together in an upper room and there they prayed earnestly walikaa wakiomba kwa bidii na Bible pia inasema pamoja na kuomba kwa bidii walijipanga walitafuta mtu wa kuriplace Judas they were getting ready spiritually and structural wise amen hallelujah so ni kuomba na kufanya mipango and may i remind you ya kwamba hata wakati unamuomba Mungu akubariki wakati mwingine anaweza kuuliza unataka nikubariki aje the preparation of the heart belongs to man that is according to proverbs chapter 16 but the answer to every matter comes from the lord mambo ya kujipanga ni yako lakini jibu inatokana na Mungu and then we also looked at the power was given uweza ule haukuahidiwa tu lakini uweza ule ulipeanwa the holy spirit came as the agent of empowerment and we answered a number of questions that power comes by the infilling of the holy spirit we also say that it is evidenced by the speaking in tongues and we also say that any person who has believed in jesus qualifies to be baptized and to be empowered and we also say that when the church is empowered and filled with the spirit there is warm fellowship there is zeal for the work of god there is oneness there is continuity there is aggression as people seek god there is purification of the heart watu wakati ambapo wamempokea roho hata wanatakaza mioyo yao hallelujah 
na siku ya leo nataka niendelee mahali sasa tulia au hapo nimesema ndio tulimalizia and today i want to move to the third thing about the, the empowered church and we see the power exercised hawa watu jinsi walivyotumia uweza huu they receive power but they also exercise the same power the holy spirit came upon them on the day of pentecost but immediately they started putting the power to practice nafikiria ile kitu ambacho wakati mwingine maybe i have been thinking around that why is in the church uh, for some time haijakuwa na ule moto na haijakuwa ikitembea na zile ishara ambazo zimeahidiwa na, na wakati nilikuwa nafikiri hivi nikaona hata wakati mwingine tunaomba Roho Mtakatifu wakuje alafu akija atutie nguvu we do nothing with that power tunakaa tu tunatulia tu wanasifa sana ni, ni kama tuko tu sawa lakini katika kila chochote utapokea kutoka kwa Mungu Mungu anatarajia kuna kazi utafanya na hicho umepokea hata Kristo wakati alipeana mfano katika kitabu cha uh, Matthew chapter 24 25 sorry alipeana mfano wa the wa the talent wale watu watatu waliopewa talanta the bible says that one was given five another was given two another was given one but the bible says when the one who had five and the one who had two came and they reported what they did with the talent The Lord tells them the Lord told them well done my good and faithful servant enter into the joy of your king but the servant who said I did nothing with my talent the bible says hata aliangaliwa akaulizwa sasa ulijua mimi navunaga mahali sijapanda si hata ungechukua upelekee wale watu wanaouza ama wanafanya biashara za pesa na ingekuwa imeniletea faida because God does not expect that you sit idle with the gift he has given you. Hallelujah. Mbuga ukia neba umuliza unafanyanga nini na ile umepewa. Hata kabla uombe ingine. What are you doing with whatever you are given? Praise the name of Jesus. You you carry with you the grace of prayer. What are you doing with it? You are now praying for the gift of healing. Now if you are not using prayer, what will you do with healing? Mungu hapezi kupatia kipawa cha uponyaji wakati watu wanateswa na magonjwa hivi uende ufungie kwa kabat kama zile vikombe zinaweke wangu wa wageni Bwana asifiwe sana Bwana ainuliwe Praise the Lord na sijui kama kwa ni kulikuwa nazo kwa tukulikuwa nazo siku zile vikombe haitolewangwi paka ile siku mgeni anakuja Muna kunywa chai na ingine imechaka unakuwa kwa kwanza zilikuwa zile za mabati imeisha ragi hapa juu yote hata kado na kado iko na unaweza fikiria ni maua imewekwa kule chini kwa base yani mpaka ile siku hiyo kikombe itamwaga chai ndio itatupwa kutolewa ingine ile ingine ikiwa tu kule ndani tunagoja mgeni unfortunately wageni hawakuwa wanakuja sana so inakaa haleluya mimi nakataa kuwa kikombe kimewekwa mahali nataka kutumika kile Bwana amenipea nataka nikitumie mimi sitaki uokovu wa kukaa nao kanisani tu niambiange watu nimeokoka i want my salvation to have an impact in my generation the giftings of god upon my life i am going to put them to practice i am going to use them to change my world whether i'm in the business or in ministry or wherever i am chochote ambacho napokea nitafanyisha kazi let us look at the book of acts chapter 3 verse 6 and 8 mo matendo ya mitume tatu tunaweza soma hata from verse 1 to verse 8 as we look at how the power was exercised by these disciples the bible says now peter and john went up together to the temple at the hour of prayer the ninth hour a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple which is called beautiful to ask alms from those who entered the temple who seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple asked for arms and fixing his eyes on him with John Peter said look at us so he gave them his attention expecting to receive something from them verse 6 then Peter said silver and gold i do not have but what i do have i give you underline that part 
you know he has been deposited with power and he's saying that which i have is what i'm going to give you and this is how he gave it to him in the name of jesus christ of nazareth rise up and walk hallelujah and the lamb pack of us eight and he took him by the right hand and lifted him up and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength finally and so leaping and so he leaping up stood and walked and entered the temple with them doing what walking and doing what else and doing what else sasa these are ordinary fishermen watu ambao hawajui chochote mambo ya surgery na medicine na joints na nini they have no idea bwana asifiwe sana so they come up to the temple at the hour of prayer they are not coming as pastors actually they are coming because the brethren are meeting for prayer if you can remember what we said in chapter 2 from verse 42 that they were gathering every day in the temple court and also in the homes praying and in fellowship and in communion so peter and john coming for the fellowship of prayer and it was their habit to come and pray hallelujah L let me tell you because one of the disconnect you find amongst believers especially those that are empowered is that once they are empowered they withdraw from the fellowship they separate themselves sasa wanakuwa wao ni holier than thou wanatebeleaga neema isiyo ya kawaida bwana asifiwe sana Neema ambayo haihitaji maombi, haihitaji ushirika. Neema ambayo haihitaji neno, hii inahitaji tu kutafuta laini ukiipata unaendelea. That is a deception. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana inuliwe. The way to grow your gifting, the way to keep it flowing is that the moment I receive power, I am supposed to get closer to God, closer to the fellowship, closer to the place of prayer. I'm supposed to spend more time in prayer, more time in the word, more time discussing and meditating upon the word of God so that that gift that I've received can receive more strength and can be activated more not just in me but also for the people around me. And so Peter and John, full of the spirit, hallelujah, they have just preached. In fact, Petro diari hubiri. Watu elfu tatu wakaokoka. Wewe unaona huyo mtu kama alitaji kuja hiyo mkutano ya maombi. Yani, yani, kama ageagalia kiwango. Ameompea watu elfu tatu wameokoka. In one service. Hello. Not, not in, in, in several meetings. Just one meeting. Watu elfu tatu wamewaompea. Wakaokoka. Lakini wakati kwa ushirika. Petro diye huyo anaenda kwa hekaru Anaenda maombi Na baibo inasema kukawa na mutu kiwete Ambaye alikuwa pale Na alikuwa naomba watu pesa Wale wanaingia kwa hekaru Ya atai kuingia kwa hekaru Anataka msaada wa pesa Lakini ya lipoona Petro na Yohana Aka waagalia kwa macho ya kuomba kitu Na ya Petro aka muambia tuangalia vizuri Aka fikiria sasa diyo huyo mdos Huyo ndiyo huyo nilisikia liubiria watu hapa wakawakoka wengi Atatowa hile noti mzuri Aka muambia silver and gold I do not have But what I have I am giving you now In the mighty name of Jesus Rise up and walk And immediately a number of things happen The Bible says mifupa yake ikapata nguvu hata ile ya kisigino ikapata uweza bwana yesu wainuliwe miguu yake ambayo haijawahi tembea kutoka azaliwe kulingana na hiyo maandiko bible inasema ikapata nguvu akasimama hallelujah Kitu cha kwanza aliruka ruka sababu aliona ni kama ni doto sio tu alisimama akaruka aone kama akiruka arudi chini aone kama itaaguka tena Ak the bible says he leapt alikuwa he was leaping tisha baadaye akamwambia kina petro hamwezi niacha hapa tena i am going with you into the temple he went to walking anatabea hatu kadhaa anaona sio kama ukweli anaruka tena anasikia na miguu kweli imepata nguvu and he started praising the living god Pendwa katika jina la Yesu Kristo Hayo mambo is not exclusive
Bible see in the book of Acts all upon the life of Peter hayo mambo inawezekana na wadada na wadugu wa siku ambazo tunaishi watu ambao watamkubalia Bwana achukue nafasi yake the time to call away from situation imeondoka this is why the holy spirit of god has been given upon the church wakati wetu kwa jina la Yesu i don't have to carry a title for me to exercise the power i do not need to have a congregation for me to walk in power all i need in my life is the holy spirit upon my life in the mighty name of jesus tunaishi siku kansa inatesa watu watu wanateswa na maradhi tofauti tofauti kila wakati magonjwa mpya but i pray in jesus name may you be empowered i say may you be empowered may you become a solution giver may the lord make you into a healer may the lord change you into another man may you carry the fire of the holy spirit upon your tongue that when you speak a matter may it come to be in the mighty name of jesus sio kujaribu wapendwa sio kuona kama inawezekana inajulikana ya kwamba inawezekana praise the name of jesus and this power haifanyi kazi tu kwa wale ambao maybe ni wachungaji amen unajua juzi tumeenda mahali sitawaambia ni wapi sababu hata wengine mlikuwa lakini kila mtu anaogea miujiza yao inatendangwa na mtu mmoja that is not the design of the church the design of the church is that hata mtoto anaweza akaponya watu hallelujah tumekuja mkutano ya maombi ya wamama hata hapo katika mkutano ya wamama hata kama hakuna mzee amekuja wa kanisa anaweza kuwa kunaweza tembea uwepo wa uponyaji teenagers wetu wamekutana hata kama hakuna mwalimu amekuja wanaweza wakaomba na mambo makubwa yakatendeka nasema katika jina la Yesu this is not just exclusive to the people in the pulpit ministry hii ni ahadi ya watu wa Mungu hata wewe unaweza haleluya Hallelujah. Challenge ni kwamba na nafikiria wakati mwingine ndio inakuwa ngumu watu wengine kupewa vipawa. Sababu akipokea tu kipawa, anaanza kutavuta kanisa jina ya kanisa. Holy Spirit and Walking Ministry. Bwana asifiwe sana. Sababu ni mtu tu ameombea akaanza kutembea. Sasa ah, haikupeanwa wafanye hivyo. Actually agalia kina Petro, wanatenda muujiza, alafu wanatembea ni kama hakuna kitu wamefanya. Hata hawana bodyguard. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the power is not mine. It, it is just deposited in me by God. Yangu tu ni kuifanyisha kazi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana ainuliwe. Na inaweza kuja kwa njia tofauti. Mungu anaweza kutumia kutuambia mambo ambayo inakuja. Maybe wewe ndiye yule nabii Bwana anagoja, uamuke kanisa la Bwana lipate mwelekeo labda ni wewe Mungu anaita wakati kama huu ukaweza kutafsiri hata ndoto ama ama ruga ambazo zinaongewa na watu hawajui you could be the person that God is counting upon haleluya kaokia niba muambie si utamani tu kujazwa na nguvu unajua watu wame wamefanywa mini tafadhali fundi wa mitambo nasikia unaninyonga Bwana asifiwe sana. Wa, watu wame, wamefanywa kuzoea ya kwamba uweza unatokana tu na mambo atini pesa peke yake ama ni connections peke yake. Let me tell you there is another level. I say there is another higher level. Praise the Lord. Ambaye mtu anataka mtu tu wa kawaida. Ninakwambia Petro unajua anaongea. In fact I don't even think that Peter wali mzungumzia ni kama ni kama wanamkemea wali mzungumzia tu pole pole anamwambia hebu tuangalie vizuri hivyo tu kama wanaongea kama in jesus name rise up and walk amen the guy rose up and started walking 
Petro akaendelea na Yohana kama walikuwa anachambua vile Yesu anafanya they continue with their story in fact the man who went to the church kabla ya kina Petro akaanza kusifu huko wakati Petro wamekuja bible inaonyesha hata Petro walikuja wakakaa kawaida paka watu ndio walianza kuwaangalia zidu adoa ya neema yani haya nea do hawa ni wanadamu ama ni nini huyu jamaa tulimwacha pale Petro akawa muna tuangaliaje kama mnashanga as if tumefanya na nguvu zetu haleluya haleluya may we be empowered may we be empowered ya kwamba hata kama ni ngombe wanakataa kuzaa unawaambia nyinyi ngombe mtazaa kwa jina la Yesu If I be a man of God, mutaza si talea ngombe wanaofaa kunizalia wakae hapa kama madume. Lazima mutoe kile ninataka. You can give life to anything. God has called us and given us the power and it is given that we may exercise it. Hallelujah. Sio ya kwamba ati unaka you know, I don't know what has happened, but almost everybody believes they are bewitched. I refuse. Me I cannot be witched by anyone. Hakuna muganga anaweza niganga. Wacha nirudie tena. Mimi hakuna muganga anaweza niganga. So long as I have God and the Holy Ghost upon my life, the devil has no access to my life. I say he has no access to my life. I repeat he has no access even in your life. Hakuna nguvu za giza zinaweza zikakufanyia kazi. How anaanzia wapi? Anajaribia akiwa wapi? Na hata mwibaji alisema akiniona, anaona ninawaka moto. Wapendwa katika jina la Yesu, let us have faith in our God and not in the things ambazo Mungu hajafundisha. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me look at a few things about exercising the power of the Holy Spirit. Number one, it calls for boldness. Kukama utatumika katika nguvu, you must be bold. Bold. Lazima uwe courageous. The exercise of God's power calls for boldness. Inaitisha mtu, awe mtu mujasiri. I don't want to imagine that this was the first time that Peter saw this crippled man. There was a possibility that they used to meet him there many times. But look at Peter. Hallelujah. Do you know why many people never walk in power? Kwa sababu wanaangalia anasema ni sawa Mungu umeniambia hivyo. Lakini nikimwombea akataye kuamka. Sasa Mungu mimi niaibike hapa. Haya sijaribu. Bwana asifiwe sana. <laughs> Lakini ni wewe unaaibika ama ni Mungu? Hallelujah. Kuna mtu aliniambia sitawaambia ni nani. Siku moja walikuwa natembea mahali wakiwa wadada wawili. Akaona mtu pande ile ambaye alikuwa kiwete akasikia sauti inamwambia vuka barabara ombea huyo mtu haraka bwana asifiwe sana akavuka barabara alipofika mahali huyo mtu alikuwa akajifanya alikuwa anaenda shughuli zingine sababu aliangalia adoa yao the zoko eh bwana asifiwe sana i think ilikuwa ni stage ya matatu adoa yao the stage ya matatu hao watu wote kwa stage ya matatu Waone nafanya mambo hapa na hakuna kitu inafanyika akasema gari ya odoge not you sure jaribu kitu kingine Mungu lakini sio hiyo <laughs> Praise the Lord What 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 hinders many believers is fear You see you are not you are not giving life by your own power it is by the power of the Holy Spirit You are not you are not raising the dead by your own power It is by the power of the Holy Spirit. If the Lord ever speaks to you to do something, exercise it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me repeat. If the Lord ever tells you to do something, exercise it. I think in the last about a month ago, we had uh, no, this was the month of March. I was invited to go and preach somewhere in some revival meetings. And in one of the meetings when we were praying for people to receive the Holy Spirit, nikasikia Bwana ametia ndani yangu ya kwamba kuna mtu ako hapa ako na goita. That, 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 that you know by the word of knowledge huyo mtu nataka kumponya. Alafu I think nikaita hata wakiwa na watu wengine hata sikujua ni mgani. I do not remember nikiona specifically ni mgani ambaye nimemuombea. And as we were praying with the pastors and we prayed over this lady because I remember it's some ladies that came. We prayed over their lives and we let them go. After about uh, a month or so, 
tukaenda pale kwa ile kanisa tukua na jambo lingine na hata hatukuka ni kama dakika like, like, like about 20 that minutes nikitoka nikasikia mtu ameniita nyuma kaniambia pastor simama 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 kaniambia pastor nilipona goita sasa anajaribu kufikiria huyu alipona lini wapi ndio nikakumbuka kuna wakati tulikuwa na ibada and the holy spirit put it in me to call someone like that hata ni oh ilikuwa ni wewe glory to god I mean you don't unajua tu wengine sababu ya kuzoea vituko hati lazima kwanza nitafute raini 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 inatoka east yani unafanya vituko you don't need, need to do those things praise the name of jesus all you need is boldness in the power of the holy spirit the bible says in the book of proverbs 28 verse 1 the righteous are as bold as lion watakatifu wako na ujasiri kama simba watakatifu hawana kitu ya kuogopa ndani yao hallelujah the wicked free when no one is when, when no one pursues wanatoroka kama hawajakibizwa lakini wenye haki wako na the boldness of god may jehovah fill you with the boldness of god I say again may Jehovah fill you with the boldness of God. I repeat again may Jehovah fill you with the boldness of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Nakumbuka siku moja nikuwa high school. Our our CU patron kukawa kuna retreat ya wa, ya wanafunzi wa CU and they so much desired that the students should be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Sasa wanashindwa watatumia binu gani? Alafu akasikia sauti, hii maji yenye mnapea hawa watoto, iombeeni. Umuiombe. Sasa unaimagine ameita wameita watu water call. Alafu wanaombea hii maji, wanasema kila mtu atakunywa hii maji. Hapa leo atalewa, atajazwa roho. Bwana asifiwe sana. They prayed over the water. Wakapea watoto, watoto walijazwa roho. Hallelujah. Boldness. Kama ni watu wengine wanasema wewe adomea kugani uro gini edi kwa vituko. Mimi sitaki vituko. Wacha uoga mpendwa. Haleluya. Actually zile vitu unaona wakifanya wachawi na waovu ni kuiba waliiba vitu zetu. Sisi ndiyo tulianza na hii maneno. God can operate in any way. Mungu ndiye wa kwanza kutenda miujiza. Aliumba dunia kama hakuna chochote. Kama aliumba, anaweza akaleta kingine chochote ambazo tunataka. I pray one more time. May the Holy Spirit come upon you and give you power and boldness in Jesus name. Number two thing about exercise of power is that it brings glory to God. Mambo ya nguvu za Mungu kutumika ni kuretea Mungu utukufu it brings glory to God and i would want to say kama kuna kitu ambacho tunafaa kubeba kama tutapeleka na Mungu vizuri ni kwamba utukufu wote ni wa Mungu ukiona watu ambao wanaenda wakijibebea utukufu as if what they did was of their own hao watu unaanza kujua wako karibu kuanza kuanguka na hicho ndicho ambacho umaliza watu wengi bwana asifiwe sana haleluya hata nikianza kabla maybe labda hata nianza kuhubiri ninaanza kusema mnajua mimi ndiye yule ambaye anaponyanga goita sasa hiyo ni kuchukua mamlaka na utukufu wa Mungu na hiyo ndiyo inakuanga mwanzo ya watu kuangamia. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hallelujah. If you want to walk with God, just be humble. Let the glory return to him. Wacha utukufu umrudie Mungu wetu. Usijibebe, usijifunike nao. Kwa sababu kuna mambo mengi ambayo Mungu anafanya hata wakati mwingine haujajua ameyafanya. God is always ready to do something. So whenever he does anything through you remember you are only an object or a vessel that he has decided to use at that moment there are times atakutumia just for a time and it never comes back wakati mwingine atakupatia kipawa utembeage nacho hicho kipawa tembea nacho mpaka mwisho lakini kumbuka utukufu ni wa Mungu the bible is telling us this man went into the temple praising God. We can get verse 12 up to verse 16. Because Peter Peter and John answer verse 10. Hao watu waliingia tu kwa maombi. 
Then they knew that it was he who sat begging at arms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. Verse 11. Now, as the lame man who was healed held on to Peter and John, Ata anaenda, amewashika. Nikama anaenda, awa diyo wame niyamusha, hawa. Hawa ni miungu wame niyamusha. All the people ran together to them in the porch which is called Solomon's, greatly amazed. So when Peter saw it, he responded to the people, Men of Israel, why do you marvel at this? Or why look so intently at us, as though by our own power of godliness we had made this man walk? The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of our fathers, glorified his servant Jesus, whom you delivered up and denied in the presence of Pilate when he was determined to let him go. But you denied the Holy One and the just and asked for a murderer to be granted to you. Verse 15. And kill the prince of life whom God raised from the dead of which we are witnesses. Verse 16. And his name through faith in his name has made this man strong whom you see and know. Yes, the faith which comes through him has given him this perfect soundness in the presence of of you all hallelujah you know god can never share his glory with any man his place is his place mahali pa mungu ni pa mungu na kama unataka kuwa rafiki wa mungu wa karibu zoea kumretea utukufu hata mtu akikwambia he kwani dada umenona namna gani wacha kumwambia ni mayai na sausage mwambie ni neema ya mungu bwana asifiwe sana Hey, the Korea, yeah, because you dare not get my stress. Hatire, kuna watu wegina wana kuraga kukumuzima, na hakuna kitu kinatokea. It takes God. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana inuliwe. Bwana asifiwe. So, the, you know, these guys, they are looking at Peter and John, like what has happened to you? And Peter tells the men of Israel, why are you looking at us as if by our own godliness? and power wanasema hata sio kuwa wazuri hata sio kuwa na nguvu but by god our father the god of abraham isaac and jacob the god who gave us jesus christ and in peace it is by the faith in the power of the name of jesus that this man that you see and you know stands here perfectly strengthened all the glory all to return to jesus if the Lord shall use you at any level, ensure that you ascribe the praise and the glory unto his name. Hakuna mwanadamu wanaweza kufanya mambo ingine. You cannot even be able to explain. Mutu wambaya likuwa miambiwa utafanyua surgery ya kidney. Alafu kesho anaenda anambiwa you are kidneys are as good and as healthy as you the day you were born. Hiyo siyo mambo unaweza ukaeleza. Na kukweli kama uta angalia you might feel within yourself. Ah, leo ni metenda kimi ujiza kikubwa. Leo ni mefanya kikitu ata unasikia ni kama ungataka kwani hawa watu hawatabui mutira tabura ne onili ya modu tigana na vituko ishio when the lord has been glorified ni ataweza kutumia zaidi when the lord walks through you just bow down and say behold you are servant O lord behold you are servant O lord not by power not by might not by my knowledge not by my abilities not by my connections not by what i can do this is about you my father it is you who have saved this one soul it is you that have healed this one soul it is you that have filled this one with the spirit it it is you that have worked ways for me in the marketplace. It is not because I know how. Niwewe unanipatia upenyo. Learn the habit and the lifestyle of lifting Jehovah. And his power will keep on flowing through your life in Jesus name. Hallelujah. It brings glory to God. Ata ukiomba katika siri na kitu kitendeke katika wazi patia buwana utukufu. It is not even about the days of fasting. It is about him. Hallelujah. There are people who do more fasting and prayer than you do. Hey. Praise the Lord. Siku moja nilienda mahali kwa mlima nikasikia mtu amefukuzwa. 
amefukuzwa kwa sababu amekaa mlimani 110 days i think ilikuwa 110 days lakini shida yake ilikuwa aombe zaidi ya, ya, ya Musa na Yesu sababu Musa alijaribu alioba 40 days akateremka akaambiwa rudi tena another 40 days so Musa alijaribu alienda ite bwana asiwe sana sasa anasema anataka apite akaambiwa hata sikuita kusaidia sasa motive ya aina hiyo haiwezi kusaidia la kwa sababu haombi Mungu atukuzwe anaomba ajulikane ana anienode ige tiko huko munyo naga mnalionaga hata mimi ninaweza vitu kama hizo Mungu hatembei nazo kama utatembea na Mungu that which made God say that David is a man after his own heart was that David was humble he was broken hallelujah look at the life of David David did many mess a lot of mess in his life zaidi hata ya mtu kama Sauli lakini Sauli wakati aliyembua umetenda dhambi yeye yeah, alisema ah nilikuwa nataka kumwabudu Mungu wakati Daudi aliyembua umetenda dhambi the bible says alilala akaanza kulia akamwambia Bwana I have messed up nimeharibia wana wa Israeli he cried in repentance Bwana asifiwe sana if there be something that God honors is when all the glory all the honor all the praise from every advancement and progress in my life goes back unto his name Bwana asifiwe sana Sio hata kwa sababu ya masomo sio hata theology na sina shida nazo Bwana asifiwe sana Jo mtu anasema ah hiyo theology ile nimesoma nikisimama hapa kuna watu wamesoma theology na hawana kitu wamebeba It takes the hand of God. I repeat, it takes the hand of God. In this progress you are seeing. Number three thing that we can say about the excess of power is that it, its results are evident to all. Matokeo ya uweza huu inaonekana kwa watu wote. The results are evident to everybody or to all. Verse 10 the Bible says Then they knew that it was he who sat begging arms at the beautiful gate of the temple and they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. You see God want to do things that will be evident to everybody. God want to change and to challenge this world the way people have known you. God want to change your name into another man. Maandiko inasema wote walimwangalia wakaona huyu sio mtu Petro ameleta ati ametoa na hapo kwa kishagi yao akakuja naye hapa Bwana asifiwe sana Najua tumeona katika even in, in this nation of ours mtu ambaye watu ambao wanafanya fake miracles mtu anaambua afanya hivi fanya vile and such thing wakaangalia wakajua huyu tulimwacha pale kwa mlango tukiingia na huyu die huyu anatembea May the Lord intervene in your situation May the Lord make the miracle evident. Yaani iwe kitu haiwezi fichika. Hata watu wakijaribu kuificha haitawezekana. Nilikuwa nafikiria kuhusu Yesu mara nyingi angetenda muujiza alafu anakuambia usiabie mtu. Sasa swali ni je, mtu amefufuka kutoka kwa wafu? Utakosaje kusema? Haleluya. Bwana asifiwe. Watu wanajua kwenu kulikuwa na maombolezo Jairus kulikuwa na maombolezo ya msichana wako all of a sudden maombolezi imefungwa kwa sababu mtoto mwenye mlikuwa mnaomboleza mkazike ametokea amesimama hata amerudi shule how do you hide such a miracle i pray that god will do things that are evident naomba bwana afanye mambo yanayoonekana katika maisha yetu kwa jina la Yesu Naomba tena Bwana afanye mambo inayoonekana. Watu wanakuuliza ulifanya nini? What did you do? And now you can tell them it is the Lord who has done it for me in Jesus name. Hallelujah. And finally, the power is available to all. I, you know, sababu inakaa ni kama watu wengi walifikiria uweza huu unafanya watu kwa kazi kwa watu fulani but the power is available to everyone uweza huu wa Mungu uko uko available yani inaweza fikia it is accessible by everyone you see when this man walikuwa na shangaa nini kitaendelea we can get verse 19 and 20 
And you hear what Peter says, verse 19 and 20. Peter spoke and said, Repent therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, so that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. And 20. And that he may send Jesus Christ, who was preached to you before. Katikati tu ya hiyo maungeo ambayo Petro anaongea. Watu hawa wana muangalia kama wana shindua. Na kwa ni wewe Petro? Kwa ni kwa ni nini kimefanyika? How comes? Juzi tu ulikuwa umekata, umemkana Yesu. Sasa ni wewe Petro sahi. Unafanya miujina ina hii. Matika nasema akawambia. Repent therefore. Every one of you and be converted. Uweza huu uko available kwa watu wote ambao watamurudia buwana. Watu ambao watajisikia ndani ya mio yao. Kwa hakika ni naitaji kutembea katika uweza. Na uweza huu siwoni. Lakini buwana ni narudi. And one of the things ambazo mungu watarikuwa na tuzungumzia wakati ura wa maombi from Thursday and Friday. Ni ya kwamba angetaka tuinue kiwango. Sometimes God want to move amongst us. Lakini capacity ya kubeba ile nguvu. Capacity ya kubeba ule uweza. Hatuna. Kama vili ambavyo tumesomewa neno hapa. Ya kwamba who can stand in thy sanctuary. Who can dwell in your holy hill, O God. Alevo nasema mambo wa mbayo. Huyo mutu wanafaa kuwa nayo. Nikusema kama nitajipanga. I act like I refuse bribes I refuse to slander I talk the truth I am raising the capacity Moyo wangu unaandalika Na yakoba mungu wanaweza haka nitumia Haka wambia basi hivi Divya mutafanya waze wa Israeli Hata kama muna nishanga mimi It can happen also through you And he told them repent And be converted That the times of refreshing May come upon you And that he may send you Jesus Even from God And he will come upon you Ni kama anawambia Tubuni na njini mpoke uwez Hallelujah The book of Mark chapter 16 And verse number 17 and 18 Yesu wakasema ya kwamba And these signs shall follow Mark chapter 16 Verse number 17 and 18 And these signs will follow Those who believe Haya mao Haya mambo Hizi ishara Zita wafuata wataka wamini Yesu wame watuma wanafunzi wake He has sent them to go and preach the good news But he says If those people that you speak to Shall hear and believe These signs will follow them He says in my name They will cast out demons Hallelujah You kia neighbor umusalimia If I umambia how are you demon caster Eh Mutu wakufukuza mapepo Wachanga kuitiaga pasta mapepo Hii miambiwa wote wataka wamini Wafukuza mapepo Hiyo shule mtoto wakipagawa Wacha kusema Hai pasta Pasta uko area Pasta anaeza kuwa Ako mambasa hiyo siku conference Wekele ya mtoto mikono Useme in the name of Jesus Hata ukisa hao kivina kumiandikwa In the name of Jesus Mwenye pasta wetu walisema Devil you are coming out of this child Hey Praise the name of Jesus Hallelujah Hallelujah We, the Bible is not saying that the apostles shall do these signs and wonders. Wao walikuwa umepewa yao kitambo. Anasema those that believe in my name, they will cast out devils. Number two, they will speak with new tongues. Watanena naruga mpia. Biko ukia naimba umuambie karibu sana kwa hii maeneo ya kuogea kwa ruga. Eh? Praise the name of Jesus. Them that believe shall speak in new tongues. Go to the next verse. He goes on and he tells them, they will take up serpents. And if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. Yani watashika hata nyoka. Nyoka, nyoka siyo tu nyoka hizi za kawaida. Anazungumzi, hini mambo ya kito yesu anazungumzia. Buwana asifuwe sana. Hata zile vitu ngumu sana. Hata kama ni uganga Hallelujah Unasikia mtu wa mepewa kitu wa meshika hivya Hiyo kitu inakaa ya mwaga Woi jeso Sasa mkona yagu imianza kuoza Haiwezi yoza sababu ya kuhuza 
kama haukujua ni sawa hata kama ugeiona kanyanga ukipita Bwana sifiwe Bwana inuliwe See we live in days ambazo watu wakisikia ati hapa palipita the worshiper na alipita hapa akisema yeye ni muobaji wa shetani kila mtu hata sasa hiyo heri hatai kukaribia hata wale waobezi sana wanaomba wakifungua macho waone kama shetani yanatokea wanaomba akisema guy mother ni eno goma dego kile hii shetani isipite the bible says they shall take up serpent in their hands and even if they drank anything poisonous even if somebody would try to poison you badala ya kufa unanona <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah i had this story i don't know how true it is of a man of god ambaye alishikwa was kidnapped na akaambiwa leo pastor unakufa na wewe ndio utajiua they mixed up poison wakamwambia hii unakunywa na kama haukunywi tunakupiga risasi Bwana asifiwe sana. Akawaambia on one condition if I give thanks. Praise the Lord. Kachukua kachupa akasema Father I thank you. I receive these minerals into my system. <coughs> Bwana asifiwe sana. And he drank the whole thing and continues to wash to wash. They waited for him to die. He did not die. The book of Acts chapter 28 it tells us of a time when uh, when Paul and and the people who are with him walienda katika kisiwa kinaitwa Magda if you can give us that scripture the book of acts chapter number 28 aha that's us but when paul had gathered a band of sticks waliingia kwa kisiwa wametoka from a shipwreck wako na baridi wakawashiwa moto paul akasema wacha hata mimi niende niwasaidie kuhudumu akakucha na kuni and lay them on the fire a viper came out because of the heat and fasten it save on his hands yeye tu mwenye aliyokota aliyokota makuni na nyoka haleluya wakati zimeingia kwa moto ikatoka ni kama ilijua ni yeye ameileta kwa moto ikajikuja kwa mkono wake so when the native saw the creature hanging from his hand they said to one another no doubt this man is a mandara whom thou he, whom though he has escaped from the sea yet justice does not allow him to live but he shook up the creature into the fire and suffered no harm yani alitingiza hivi akairudisha kwa moto hakuna kitu amefanya the next verse however they were expecting that he would swell up or suddenly fall down dead can we read the rest of the part together but after they had looked for a long time amen vitu zingine unasomanga vile ambavyo vimeandikwa after they had looked for a long time and so no harm came to him they changed their minds and said that he was they saw him as a murderer but when they saw the miracle ni nyoka tu ameangusha imechomwa na yeye hakufi haanguki hata hafuri he is not swelling he is not no dropping down dead nothing seems to happen paul anaendelea tu kuota moto akiiba nyimbo za kiroho bwana asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe haleluya labda alikuwa anaiba twakogosha ga ni odoa dashia anaabudu tu ha watu wanashindwa huyu mtu ni ni kichwa ni what is happening to him i don't know how long they waited But the Bible says there was no sign of any harm. These are the signs that walk with them that shall believe the message. That is you and me my brothers. Hallelujah. Paul was not in the upper room. Aliokoka baadaye. Even at this time we are reading this scripture. Hakuwa ameokoka. But wakati Paul aliokoka na akaamini, matendo na ishara zikaanza kutembea na yeye. Wacha uoga ndivyo Bible inasema. Hata kama ni nyoka watashika, hawataangamia. Na wakiwekelea wagonjwa mikono yao, wagonjwa watapona. Hajasema Petro wataponya watu, amesema wata kao amini do i have people who believe in jesus the bible they say in my name they show their their hands upon the sick and they shall recover hallelujah hiyo kia ni bomwambie karibu sana kwa maeneo ya uponyaji hiyo hizo ni vitu unatembea nazo 
Amen. Vitu unafanya nini? Unatembea nazo. Hizo ni vitu tu unaenda nazo kila mahali. Kukiwa na mtu anahitaji kuombewa kupona. Msiseme kabla mseme ya dugu shidano kubwa. Sasa wekelea yeye mikono na useme in the mighty name of Jesus. Wewe ugojwa unaondoka. Bwana asifiwe sana. And there is no sickness that is so big for God. Hakuna hiyo kitu inaitangwa kubwa mbele za Mungu. Hakuna hata kama ni headache Mungu anaondoa mimi ile kitu ya kwanza niliona Mungu ameponya ile siku nilijazwa roho niliobea mtu alikuwa na umwa na kichwa akapona Bwana asifiwe sana Hiyo tu siku so ni kitu unaweza sio lazima uku, unajua kuna watu mpaka adui amejua mahali yako karibu na kitanda karibu na kiti kwa ofisi ama kwa gari ama kwa kibeti lazima kuwa na mara moja kama ishirini sababu any time kichwa inaweza waka kataa Haziku umbwa zikiwa zako. Haleluya. Tulisema hia ya kwamba Mungu aliwaahidi wana wa Israeli Jeremiah 33:6 akasema I will bring health and healing and will heal you. Nitaleta afya na uponyaji na nitawaponya. May the Lord restore us to the place of health in Jesus name. Let me say the final thing. How the power was challenged. Tumeongea mambo ya the power exercised and finally the power is challenged nguvu hizo ambazo walibeba zilipiganwa nazo there was a lot of opposition to the power that the disciples were exercising because let me tell you even if bwana asifiwe sana praise the name of jesus even if kuna uweza sio kila mtu anaona uweza wa Mungu anamtukuza kuna watu wanaona ah uh, nini hiyo amen hiyo sasa is a different one ni is a major point the power is given power received power exercised power challenged huo uweza wa Mungu sio kila mtu anaona kuna watu wanaona vituko amen Siku moja nilienda wanema ya Bwana kule Marekani na nikiwa na, na, na mkutano wa jioni it was a revival meeting tunaombea watu wabatizwe na roho mtakatifu watu wakabatizwa na roho mimi sikujua ile kanisa yenye nilipelekwa hiyo siku hawaamini katika roho mtakatifu bwana asifiwe sana so mimi nimeombea watu kwanza mpaka director because it's a center mpaka director wa hiyo center kachazwa roho mtakatifu yeye kwanza waibaji nilipomaliza nikawaita wakakataa kukuja kube wamekataana na nguvu wao hawataki there are people who reject the power hata wakiona ikifanya kazi there are people even when they see miracles wanasema hii ni fake hakuna kitu kama hiyo hao watu wamekuja na mtu hapa akajifanya amepona <laughs> amen na wengine hata watachukua hatua is what happened to these people they exercised the power the man was healed but the bible tells us wakati viongozi wa kidini walisikia kile kimefanyika wakaanza kushangaa na kushindwa hii kitu inafanyika aje and they began persecution of the church and let me tell you wa kristo tumeitiwa uweza lakini pia utasikia mambo mengi ya kupinga uweza ule That is why you should not give up following Christ, serving Christ, living a holy life simply because somebody is challenging you. It's not an issue. Wewe sio wa kwanza. Hello. Fiwe sana. Wewe sio wa kwanza kupingwa. Wewe sio wa kwanza kuongewa. Kuna wengine walikuepo. In fact Yesu alisema, kama wanamchukua mwana wa Mungu, wanamtesa na wanamsurubisha na wana yani ni kama anasema kama wamempinga hata nyinyi watawapinga Hello Hebu angalia neighbor umwambie hizi vitu zinakufanya ukufe moyo ati watu wanakuogea Usishide hata ndo malago lile nyama mako alile It's not an issue you continue with your life Bana siwe sana hata wakikunywa kahawa ama maziwa ya Brookside Hakuna shida Bana siwe sana 
Hizo ni vitu za kawaida. Eh. Hey. Haleluya. Haleluya. Actually unafaa kuishi maisha ya kwamba wacha watu hata shetani mwenyewe anasubuka na wewe. Anashindwa how comes you are operating this way? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Ishi maisha ambayo kuna kuna wana wa skeva. There are these signs of skeva. Maandiko inasema waliona mtu ako na pepo akafikiria waende wakafukuze. Wakasema in the name of Jesus whom Paul preaches we command you to leave this man. Mapepo anafikiria ilicheka. Ili wachekelea. Alafu ikawaambia Yesu tunamjua. Yaani unafaa kuishi maisha hata shetani anakujua. <laughs> Hallelujah. Alafu ikamwambia hata huyo Paul umetaja tunamuju Yes, Yesu is another level. Paul ni mwanadamu wa kawaida, lakini even the devils knew Paul. Kauliza na nyinyi ni yakina nani? Who are you? Amen. The evil spirits answered and said, Jesus I know and Paul I know, but who are you? Nyinyi ni nani? Mimi sitai kukaa maisha ambayo hata shetani hanijui. Wacha nikae hata nikipita anajua kuna mtu kuna mfalme ameingia. Hallelujah. Mimi nasemanga vile tu kuko na principalities za kiroho za kipepo kuna principalities za kiungu. Mtu ambaye akiingia mahali hivi hata adui anajua ni nani yamekuja. Hallelujah. 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 <coughs> so they opposed. They rejected just like there is rejection of power today. And maybe I can give a few reasons why people challenge the power of the spirit. Kwa nini watu hukataana na nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu? Reasons why people or the enemy challenges, not really people, but why the enemy challenges the power of the Holy Spirit. Kwa nini? Number one, power disrupts status quo. Nguvu zikishuka, ukawaida unaisha. You see, power disrupts status quo. Wanadamu hawapendi change. Hallelujah. Na waisraeli walikuwa rituals tunakuja kuhani anachukua kodo, anachinja, anainua mikono, anasema naletwa rei na naria mwana na naria roho mwenye. Wana anatulia tu, mwana zile sana. Sasa kumekuja mwingine hasemi hiyo vitu yote hata hana kala. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hata hawakumbuki akiwa ordained, alafu anasimaza we amka na utembee kwa jina la Yesu, anatembea. Sasa wanasema, "Ii sisi tuna atata, we don't want to be disturbed. We want to get to continue with what we are used to. Tunataka kuendelea na ile mambo tunajua, na ile tumesikia, hatutai kusumbuliwa. But let me tell you when power comes, it changes things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When power comes, I was reading a, a, a certain book on the Korean revival. Kuna ufifio ulitokea kule Korea around I think around 1910 or something like that. Na kulikuwa na they began with a moment of prayer about 1500 people were just praying together every evening. They were preparing for some mission. So wanakutana wanaomba wanakutana wanaomba wanakutana wanaomba and so there was this one evening ambapo wakati walianza walikuwa wanaendelea na maombi one of the deacons in that church akasimama pale mbele akaomba tu nafasi atoe ushuhuda akasimama akasema mimi kuna rafiki yangu aliniachia mali yake kabla akufe akaniambia hii mali ni kifa nipatie mkaidhik mke wake au mtoto wake lakini nilimpatia lakini sio yote niligawa akasema nimesimama kukiri na kutubu dhambi zangu bwana asifiwe sana na kurudisha pesa za wenyewe haleluya sasa si unaona watu hawezi penda nguvu za Mungu kama itakuja kufanya mambo kama ha <laughs> haleluya wakati alisema hivyo Hadithi hii inasema ya kwamba from that moment people started coming one by one confessing. Mimi hata kama nilionanga nimekuaga na mke mwingine niliacha 
Niacha Yesu kitabu ni vile tu ninakuja kanisa kuomba mimi hata kama mnaonanga hata hiyo position nilipewa ni yani they confess the story says they confess up to about midnight watu tu walikuwa wanasimama wanatoa wanakiri wanakiri mimi naomba nguvu za aina hizi shuke hapa <laughs> haya haleluya bwana yesu asifiwe sana me, me, I'm praying for such kind of a grace and power to manifest around here. And even in, in, in our church, because we need to move to the next level. But the Bible, you know, the story goes like this. When they confess like that, the Spirit of God was poured upon the church in Korea. Such that even today, hallelujah, Korea still have the largest church in the world, even today. Brothers and sisters. There is one church with about a membership of one million. Si yogei mambo ya 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 makanisa mna branches one local church. Bana swe san. Bana swe. Their pastor died last year. Bana swe san. Akiwa muzee san. Alikuwa huko hizo wakati. Mekufa last year. Akiwa muzee. Siku moja nikuwa nasoma kitambu. Akitana mkutano ya dikon. Kuna kuta kuna kuja watu 40,000. 40,000 deacons. Bwana asifiwe sana. Revival. If we want revival to come. Hallelujah. We must allow the spirit to come and disrupt status quo. Unajua anashuka wale watu wamezoea kuomba wameangalia kaukuta hivi pole pole bwana 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 unaona wameinua mikono juu wamelala chini. I pray that the Holy Ghost shall come and take over. How there are things that need to be disrupted. Sababu vile tu naona watu wakizoea kampango fulani na tuvitu fulani. That is how hata maisha yao wamefinywa. Adui anaendelea akiwatesa na kuwafinya. Hallelujah. Paka juzi nilisikia watu wengine wanabiana hatupitishagi masaa fulani ndio watu waende nyumbani wakakunywe dawa. Mimi nimekataa watu waende wakakunywe dawa. Wacha wapone hapa waende nyumbani watupe dawa nyumbani kwa cho watembee katika uwezo wa Mungu. Power must disrupt something. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And if you receive the Holy Ghost and remain the same, juuliza umepokea nini? Sababu hata wale watu wanarewagwa na pombe ya kawaida hawakaagi ka, kawaida Kuna pasta ametuambia juzi Mungu alipanga watu wa kuaga walevi wakati mwingine Ni vile tu hakutaka wakunywe pombe sababu Paul anasema ya kwamba na msilewe na mvinyo tena lakini mujazwe roho mtakatifu Hiyo ni ulevi pia anasema kama mnatafuta ulevi tafuteni ya roho so that your life can be changed may power flow i say again may power flow i say again may power flow hallelujah we can read chapter 4 of the book of acts verse 16 and 17 acts chapter 4 verse 16 and 17 the bible says this is peter again he said it's not not peter really. it is the men the, the chief priest they said what shall we do to this man sasa ni Peter na John for indeed that a notable miracle has been done throughout through them is evident to all who dwell in Jerusalem and we cannot deny it yani nguvu inashuka mpaka haiwezi hawezi ukaipinga but so that it is spread no further among the people let us severely threaten them that from now on they speak to no man in this name wacha tuwakanye wasiogea hiki via wanasumbuka na wao ndio walimu wa neno but because they don't have the power that Peter is having they are threatening because already they feel threatened this man comes wewe unaonaje wanaingia kwa ibada petro amekaa pale nyuma kuhani yako hapa anatoa kuhani lakini huko nyuma unasikia mtu ameanza kulia ameponywa na petro hajamuombea bwana sifa sana eh huyu yako hapa asa a a hiyo maneno hapana kuna mtu my wife alikuwa ananiambia siku moja alikuwa darasa moja na ye ameingia matatu matatu kuingia tu matatu vile unaweza ingia akaketi mtu alikuwa amekaa hapa msichana akaanza kulia wewe unanisumbua wacha kunichoma wacha kunifukuza na nikukuja tu amekuja akakaa tu kwa matatu yani he carried anointing paka makanga 
akasema we wewe mwenye unafukuzwa na mwenye unafukuzana tokeni kwanza mfukuzane <laughs> bwana asifiwe sana na ongea kuzu hapa Nairobi ameingia tu akaketi mapepo iko ndani ya mschana kaanza kujua hii environment ni ingine the demons started crying out wacha kunichoma na kwa hakika walitoka akatoka na yeye amemshika akakemea mapepo mschana akawekwa huru akaendelea na safari yake those are the kind of things that god wants things that can disrupt hata safari ya watu sababu ya uwepo wa Mungu the same man went to, to Ghana or Zambia akapelekwa kwa kijiji kalikuwa na waganga akapewa kanyumba mahali amelala akaambiwa kuna waganga wanapitanga hapo mchana no i was not even told waganga wanapitanga huko juu wakiwa na wanatega wana, na vifagio anachukua kifagio kama dege anatembea nayo juu ya nyumba ndio aroge area bwana asifiwe sana akachukua kifagio yake akapanda akapita juu ya hiyo kanyumba mtu wa Mungu amelala hangepita akaanguka kijiji yote ilikuja kuona nani ameangusha mugaga wetu na amera yeye hata hajui aliamshwa na watu ati we kwa nani yako huku we toka potoka kwa kwani kumeenda akaambiwa ni mugaga ameanguka na hajawahi aguka kwani we ni nani oh aka, ah ni hiyo akaanza maombi na crusade praise the name of jesus Hallelujah. We must disrupt something in Jesus name. We must refuse that the devil should operate at peace around us in the name of Jesus. We must refuse that our neighborhood adui anaweza kaa kama tuko. May we carry anointing and power and disrupt the works of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. Number two reason why people oppose power because power flows through ordinary men who surrender to god power flows through ordinary men who surrender to god uweza wa mungu unajua mungu haagali vile wanadamu huangalia alimwambia samueli men look at the outward appearance but i look at the heart and that is was one of the biggest headache to this man you can read verse 13 of the same scripture Acts chapter 4 verse 13 so that we understand Acts 4 verse 13 the bible says now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were uneducated they were uneducated and untrained yani hiyo hiyo si ni kuwa mtu ordinary more than ordinary hata heri wagesema hawaku wamesoma kama wanasema wamesoma na wanaoge, wanasisitiza na hawana masomo yani hana course <laughs> ordinary men the bible says they marveled but then they realized that they had been with jesus this is power flowing through ordinary men wachindo hao watu hawajakuja shule ya farisayo na wanafanya wanasomesha kutuliko hawa watu hawaja, hawajapitia ile mambo sisi tunapitia hata hawana wadhifa wowote but they are carrying great anointing and power maybe you can read also first corinthians chapter number 1 verse 27 first corinthians chapter 1 verse 27 the bible says but god has chosen the things of this world to put to shame the wise and god has chosen the weak things of the world to put to shame the things which are mighty mungu anaamua mtu ambaye hata watu wao hawajulikani hallelujah mtu ambaye hana zile vitu ambazo watu wangefikiria ndizo zinafanya mtu mfalme do you know why the jews were so amazed about jesus because number one, jesus is declaring himself to be a king Yet he is born in a major. He is born in a family of a people that are not nowhere. Joseph and Mary by the time walikuwa hai, the house of David ilikuwa ni kitu haiko. Imeisha imeangamia ni watu maskini. Ukiona mtu hata hawezi akabook hoteli, anakuja akizunguka akiuliza Mungu akisha mahali. Unajua huyo mtu hana kitu. Lakini ni hao ambao Mungu alitumia kuleta mfalme. Power flows through ordinary men. 
jana kuna askofu tulikuwa na yeye mahali I, I happened kumbeba kwa gari langu tukienda mahali sasa tukienda alikuwa ananiambia siku zao walikuwa nafikiria mtu akiongea kiingereza hiyo pia ni ni, ni 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 impartation ya roho mtakatifu pia ni roho wametembea lakini walikuja kujua baadaye sio kiingereza kilikuwa kinawafanya watumike na Mungu Mungu alikuwa anawatumia wakiwa vijana and give us an example ya msichana alikuwa form 2 akiwa form 2 angejaza ma stadium na miujiza mikubwa inafanyika sasa wale watu walikuwa mbele badala ya kuona huyo msichana vile anatumiwa na Mungu and they disciple her walimuachilia sasa hiyo kipawa haikuendelea vile ambavyo Mungu alitaka kitumike God can use anybody I say God can use anybody power can flow through anyone wakati Yesu when Jesus fed 5000 men yule mtu alitumia ni kijana one boy ambaye alikuwa na mikata mitano na samaki wawili hao ndio Mungu alichukua I don't know why kwa nini hakukuwa na mzee mwingine Mungu amegemwitisha you know a, a piece of meat ama nyama ambayo alikuwa labda amefunga lakini Mungu alichukua vitu za mtu wa kawaida nasema watu kama wewe watu kama wewe narudia watu kama wewe ambao hawakuzaliwa mahali panajulikana ambao hata mababa zao hawajulikani na mtu yeyote watu kama wewe ambao hata mambo yale wanafanya likujikaza wa najikaza ndio wasimame ama wamejikaza mpaka wakafika mahali walipo ordinary men are what god uses if only you surrender haijalishi wewe uko na miaka mingapi uwe mzee ama mjama kijana uwe uko na masomo ama hauna if only you can surrender uwe uko na pesa ama hauna god is looking for available vessels Praise the Lord. Haangali wale wanaonekana anaangalia the available vessel. The other thing about power because of time. Bwana asante sana. Praise the Lord. It flows in the place of prayer. Yaani hizi nguvu za Mungu ambazo zinakuwa opposed ni kwa sababu zinaitisha bibii ya maombi. Na ndio maana watu wengi hawapokea yangi it calls for prayer or it flows through prayer ni maombi ni kujinyima hawa watu sitasoma but you can write from verse 24 to verse 31 of the same book acts chapter 4 the bible tells us wakati waliachiliwa they went together and they started to pray they prayed until the place where they were was shaken and they were filled with the holy spirit all over again bwana swestan it cost men na ndio maana watu hawataki nguvu bwana swestan iwako na haja nayo lakini kwa sababu hawalipi gharama akishindwa kulipa wale wanatembea nayo wanaanza sema ah wale kujifanya ni mia kiawe then iko hola bwana swestan praise the lord i thank god tuliambiwa hivyo tukiwa vijana 20 years later we are still burning with fire huyo ndo ari mwaki wa mafefe wa ari mwaki wa roho mutheru haleluya na hivyo hivyo hata juu ya maisha yako wakati mtu amejiachilia mahali pa maombi kuna tokea nguvu na uweza praise the name of jesus maybe because i want to finish i talk about the two levels of challenge the two levels of tunaongea tu hiyo point ya mambo ya the price challenge two levels This powers challenge at two levels. One were internal challenges. Walikuwa kanisa hili lilipata shida zao za ndani. Amen. Lakini ba umwambie kanisa lenu si tofauti. Au makanisa inapata kama shida ya ndani. Sometimes ukiingia kwa kanisa kama hili ya mara nyingine kabla uangalie ni shetani inaingia zingine nyingi zinakuanga shida ziko tu ndani. And this church had an issue inside there were two issues in this church the first one was the standard of holiness the standard of holiness internal tunaongea kuhusu hizo internal issues walizoea udini kiasi ya kwamba hata wanadanganya na hawajali ukiangalia chapter 5 from verse 1 to 11 allow me not to read 
Uh, but maybe you can read one verse or two. Act chapter 5. Nataka ni marize tuwa. But a certain man named Ananias with Sapphira, his wife, sold a portion. And he kept a part of the proceeds. His wife also being aware of it and brought a certain part and laid it at the apostles' feet. But Peter said, Ananias, why has Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Spirit and keep back part of the prize of the Lord for yourself? While it remained, it was, was it not yours or your own? And after it was sold, was it not your own control? Why have you conceived this thing in your heart? You have not lied to men, but to? Yani, walikuwa wamezoea tu mambo ya kawaida. Sababu, si umeona pana betu miongea kuhusu, ata wala watu walikuwa nao viongozi, hawana understanding ya mambo ya kiroho. Nastia tu walikuwa wabaya, wako pale, wanaliongoza kanisa, you know, inaendelea, kuna iyo maintenance ministry, kumeingia watu wengine who are flowing with power. So kukawa na maitaji kwa kanisa Watu wakawa wanauza mari yao And they bring at the feet of the apostles So Ananias and his wife also They sold their property And they kept some money But when they came to Peter They said this is everything Ata Petro na muliza Wakati hiyo shamba haikuwa imeuzwa Si ilikuwa yako Na wakati umeuza Si ata pesa zilikuwa zako Why have you conceived in your heart to lie? Angesema tu nimeuza, kuna zile nimeweka, lakini hindi nimetoa. But kwa sababu ya mazoea. Wana suwe sana. You see, praise the Lord. The challenges ambazo kanisa liko nazo ata sasa. One of the main challenge is internal. Within watu ambao hawatembei kwa utakatifu. Lakini wakionekana na wakiongea, wanaongea kama watakatifu. Watu ambao hata wakiachiliwa waongoze mahali kwa inchi wanaongoza tu kama watu wa dunia lakini wakiongea Jumapili wamenyenyekea kama maraika Bwana asifiwe sana kama kuna adui tunafaa kufukuza ni adui anaitwa michanganyiko na compromise aliyeshika maisha ya watu kanisani katika jina la Yesu Kristo Kama kuna kitu kinafaa kushugulikiwa Na hata hawa tunaoma katika jina la Yesu Mahari popote hiyo roho imejificha Ingolewe kwa kizi yake katika jina la Yesu Kristo Kwa sababu unatazama kanisa la buwana Ukiangalia unaona watu wa sherati Lakini badu naongoza sifa Unaona watu ambao hawana ukweli wanaongea uongo lakini bado wengine hata wanahubiri unaona watu ambao wanatembea kwa mambo ya ulevi lakini si masaya ya uombezi wameinua mikono wamefunga macho wanamwaga machozi na makamasi tunakataa roho ya compromise in the mighty name of Jesus tunainyima nafasi katika kazi ya Bwana we are getting ready for revival we are getting ready for a new level we are getting ready for the exercise of the power of God and for that reason in the mighty name of Jesus every chain of darkness every power that binds people to sin we expose it we destroy it it must release our destiny in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah buwana sifiwe ya ukia nebo umwambia ni wakatu wakusafishwa they had another challenge yandani the standard of love and care you know nafasi ama ama kiwango cha upendo na kushugulikiana chapter 6 from verse 1 to verse 4 i may not read but let me just paraphrase mandiko inasema kukawa na shida mahari watu wanagaiwa chakura especially the windows walikuwa nasaidia wale watu hawajiwezi Ya kwamba the windows wa Kiyahudi wanapewa preference na wanapewa ni kama nyingi kuliko wale ambao ni wagiriki na maandiko inasema hiyo kitu ilithritten kanisa it threatened them if they almost broke into pieces all into groups karibu wakawanyike kama kanisa paka wakati ambapo wakina Petro waliingilia wakasema hatuwezi tukaacha kazi ya neno na maombi tuja tuwashughulikie Bwana asifiwe sana. Na ukiangalia mambo ya welfare, 
imeyabeba makanisa mengi kiwango ya kwamba hata wachungaji unaweza zipata you are very busy kila mahali kila udhoni kila kila nini kila birthday kila nini mpaka hauombi ukiwa kiongozi bwana asifiwe sana haleluya haleluya praise the lord kwa sababu kule ndani kumekosa watu wanaweza chukua huo mzigo kama bwana amekupatia kazi na huduma ifanye kwa bidii Dio wale wanafaa kuwa kwa neno na maombi wana wao wafanye yao kanisa lisipate jaa Hallelujah And then there were external challenges There were external challenges Oh Jesus We read in the book of Acts 5 verse 17 and 18 that the chief priests arrested the apostles and they put them in prison Then the high priest rose up and all those who were with him which is the sect of the Sadducees and they were filled with indignation number 18 and laid their hands on the apostles and put them in the common prison yani wanawachukua wanawapeleka hata jela ile ya watu wa kawaida sababu wanawapinga even from outside maybe we can read one more scripture Chapter 7 verse 58 and 59 and then we conclude. Kwa sababu hizi nguvu ambazo unabeba ni vizuri ujue ziko na adui. Amen. Hallelujah. Start from 55. This is Stephen anaongea and he says but he being full of the Holy Spirit gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God and said look i see the heavens open and the son of man standing at the right hand of god they then they cried out with a loud voice stopped their ears and ran at him with one accord and they cast him out of the city and stoned him and the witnesses laid down their clothes at the feet of the young man named saul and finally and they stoned stephen as he was calling on God saying Lord Jesus receive my spirit wakati mwingine nguvu zinapingwa paka watu wanakufa na kuombea usifike hapo bwana asifiwe sana lakini hata kama itamaanisha kufa kwa sababu ya Yesu ni sawa maandiko inasema Stefano aliwahubiria akiwagawia chakula akatenda miujiza wakamuinukia chapter 7 yote aliwahubiria mahubiri wengine Alafu akasema hata nimeona bingu imefunguka. Nimeona Yesu amesimama ama ameketi mkono wa kuume. Wakafunga masikio. Just imagine. Yaani wamesikia neno, wanasikia ni kama wataka kuokoka, badala ya kuokoka, wakafunga masikio. Bible inasema wakachukua mawe, wakatoa nguo zenye walikuwa nazo, wakaweka kwa miguu ya Saul, wakachukua mawe, wakamchapa mfano mpaka akafa. Bwana asifiwe sana kuna threats za nje na every day the enemy is looking for an opportunity ili anyamazishe kanisa na ndio maana unaona watu wanarushiwa maroho za uzembe hawataki maombi hawataki neno hawataki utakatifu lakini ndani wanapenda Mungu kwanza ni nini ndugu mimi sijui sababu adui anatafuta kila siku vile atawanyamazisha watu wengine hata straight on their faces wanaambiwa hiyo wokovu yako hiyo hiyo inatusumbua hivyo tutaona kwenye itaenda yani but i pray that we shall be strengthened in Jesus name because this power is available unto us and this power we can use it to the glory of our god stuck in petition hapo naomba tutusimame just stand on your feet